For more on this, Annabel Simington joins us now from Sana. She's a spokesperson for the UN World Food Programme in Yemen. Thank you so much for joining us today and making time for us. Um, the World Food Programme chief, your boss, of course, uh, David Beasley, has said that in a nation of 30 million people, we're literally looking at 60 million people marching towards starvation. Um, how and why has the situation become so dire in Yemen? So, well, the situation in Yemen right now is absolutely terrifying. You do have 16 million people who are faces, facing crisis levels of hunger. Um, and they, and the reason for that is the ongoing conflict, which uh, continues to rage um, across the country, including on along a number of new front lines, as well as a very rapid economic decline that we have seen this year. Um, just in the just in the last nine months of this year, we have seen food prices rise by up to 60% in some areas, and that quite simply is making food unaffordable for Yemenis. There is food in the markets, but people can't afford it. This is mothers who go to the market, and each week they can afford less and less. And what that now means is you've got 16 million people facing crisis levels of food insecurity. We've already got pockets of famine in the country. And you've got half of all children under the age of five at risk of acute malnutrition this year. Simply tragic. And what do you need to help them? What is the, the, the window of, I don't want to say opportunity, but that window to help them? Well, there are, there are two things. So right now, Yemenis need food assistance. They need aid uh, in order to in order to keep them alive. Quite simply, uh, WFP has, uh, thanks to uh, donor funds this year, we have been able to resume uh, close to full rations. This was after in 2020 when we were forced to cut uh, because funds were so short. But despite that, we are now in a situation where. Um, while we've been able to uh, have full rations for most of this year, now from next month, we're looking at potentially um, having cuts. So we need, uh, the, uh, the World Food Programme needs uh, $797,000 million in order to maintain food assistance for the next six months. Now, and that means we need pledges now because it doesn't, a, a pledge today doesn't mean money, it uh, doesn't mean food on the plates of a Yemeni immediately. There is a lag for us to bring the food into Yemen. So it's really important that we keep that flow of uh, pledges from donors so we can continue to turn that into food assistance, which is saving lives in Yemen. And the US has pledged uh, at the UN General Assembly more than 290 a million dollars uh, in humanitarian assistance to Yemen. Will that prompt uh, more pledges and a pledge given today at the UN uh, General Assembly? When does that uh, money then arrive in Yemen? You know, you were talking about that lag. Uh, yeah, well, absolutely. So there's, um, so it takes, so you've got a pledge but then that money actually needs to be more than a pledge. It actually needs to needs to turn up in a bank account, uh, and then from that moment, for us to bring food in, it's about it takes about three to four months. So it's so a pledge today is not going to solve our problem for next for next month. Obviously, we've got many mechanisms in place to try and to make sure that we can keep that food flowing. But right now, we are in a really difficult position. On top of that, we've got to remember that it's not only about the food aid. So I'm I'm here representing the World Food Programme, but the Yemenis the Yemenis that we serve also need wash services. They also need protection. They also need healthcare. So it's really important that we also that we look at the entire situation and make sure that we are providing. Yemenis with the assistance that they need across the board. I didn't know it would take uh, between three and four months for uh, a pledge to, to uh, you know, become reality and get to uh, Yemen uh, in the form of food or assistance. Thank you so much, Annabel Symington. We learned a lot. Good luck with your work.